It's that time of year again. Time for the Big Iron Shootout held in Revelstoke, British Columbia. Do you like a ride? Yeah, I'm looking for some snow, eh? Here, John from Snowmobiler TV. Would you like a Big Mac uh, fry, super size, extra 39 cents? <laughs> Thank you very much. Please come again. Hey, I'm Lance Baker. This is my 2005 RX-1. Uh, it's got a front mount MC Express turbo kit. It's got a billet chain case, eight and eight centers. Uh, it's all Racer's Edge tunnel, titanium springs, titanium bolts. It's got all chromoly suspension, chromoly spindles. Today we're running a camel class finger track because they hook up really good on the hard packed snow. When you're running this kind of horsepower, you need all the traction you can get. At 26 pounds, it makes 390 horsepower. <laughs> We're going so fast up there, we're going to go right over top of all the, the mud, land around the snow. Uh, Ken from Specialty Sleds up in Edmonton. Uh, we're down here for the shootout. Uh, I ride an RX-1 uh, turbo. It's got a rear mount MC Express, uh, Racer's Edge chassis. We got the thing down to about 530, 540 pounds. It's a Camel Class 2.5 inch, uh, 16 wide, 2.5 inch lug, 3 inch pitch. This track is unbelievable in powder snow. Uh, it just never gives up. Friday was test and tune day. Let's get them dialed in for the big day tomorrow. Getting hungry? Zala's is the place to eat in Revelstoke. Triple A, great A beef. And how about a little bit of this to keep the customers happy? <laughs> Are you guys the Q-Dog Squad? Yeah! All the munchkins hop in Zala's limo for a ride over to the party at the Big Eddie Pub. Hey, how do they rate? What's up? We're having a good time tonight. We're down at Big Eddie Pub! Welcome to Revelstoke! <laughs> it's Friday night the boys are in the party! Here's to the boys! Welcome to We need to get ready for the big iron. Revelstoke, brought to you by Mountain Mod Mania! What a shocker. Riding up in Selkirk's helicopter and seeing over 2,000 snowmobiles buzzing below me. Holy Toledo, dude. Let's get the racing started at the Super Bowl. Both skis came off with the spindles intact. Forgot to tighten the bolt, someone? I hope he's okay. Looks like CR Racing's 1800 is running well today. The turbo Yamahas were everywhere. I think the word is out on what makes a super fast and reliable sled. To the sugar bowl. It's getting steeper and the horsepower and hormones are raging.
guy borrowed his buddy sled. Don't worry, I'll be right back. When you go too slow, you tend to zigzag a lot. The moment 2,000 snowmobilers have been waiting for. Rated R has arrived! 750 nitromethane-fueled ponies! Looks like a bunch of ants heading for Grandma Grace's picnic. <laughs> it's a bulletproof vest. Chad, what's uh, going on? Can't do any help well, we're uh, just going to check out the idler pulley on the blower and uh, try to figure out. I think the bearing's piling up on it. I tried to get a new bearing for it yesterday, but I couldn't get one, unfortunately. Every place is closed. Yeah, it's better to happen here than at the for sure. We're out and coming home after a 33 hour drive or whatever it was, watching all of our parts fold up before our very eyes. One moment, On to Turbo! Where only the best of the best will challenge the mountain and end each other. Stalkers need not apply. Once again, the Turbo Yamahas were beating them out.
Notice this guy. He actually remembers to set the parking brake. It seemed to help. A little. That's an old VMAX 4 putting it to the mountain. I'm impressed. Maybe we should call this the Big Iron Rodeo. Cool. What happened there? He fell off the sled, jumped in the air, got back on it. We were almost out of daylight, the nitrous bottles were on empty, and fun was had by all. Let's toss out the rest of the door prizes and head for home. What an awesome day! The fastest sleds in the world all gathered in one place to do what they do best, with the best riders in the world piloting them. Nice show, guys. I can't wait for next year. I want to thank all the people that sent me their footage to share with all to see. Nice work, guys. I'm Blair Parker, I work at BD. This is my pimped out RX-1, a couple new additions this year. I put a skid frame in it from Mark Holtz, I put a tunnel extension on from Specialty Sleds. Blow-off valve that uh, we use on the diesel truck, it's the biggest blow-off valve up on the mountain this weekend. I run a Camouflast 159, uh, 15 wide, it works good, hooks up good. I'm working on a knock sensor, it's totally R&D at this point, should be available next year. If then we can run more boost on less fuel, then we'll know where we're actually detonating. It's uh, working good so far, was knocking that 15 pounds boost on pump gas, dumped some race gas in and the uh, lights are out. And that's what you want, no knocking will be available from Parker Motorsports at 604-853-1979. Yay! Oh, the Stoich meter? Yeah, it's an air fuel ratio meter. It basically, rather than looking at a pyro on a four-stroke, you just, it's it uses an O2 sensor like an automobile. It just tells you rich, lean, or stoich. Ideally, you want to be in the stoich range, maybe a little bit rich, but definitely not lean. And with the four strokes, you know, they're, they just don't detonate unless you run some poor fuel through them, so they've been great. I got 10,000K on this motor. Hasn't been touched other than putting low compression pistons in, so it's wonderful. I just love it. The sun ends and then it's shade. The guy was hill climbing, didn't know it was a drop off. Looked like a rounded hill. 
Sled went over, he grabbed the edge. It's about a 25 foot lip and his hands dug in, pulled himself back up. The sled impacted down there in the bottom of that face, just like a lawn dart. There's no way to live, not a chance to the impact of the lawn.